Greetings, salutations, and all around, how the hell are you? We're back with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. The ongoing case to get Maya Faye off the death row, I think. Continues, as we call the Hotel Bellboy as a witness. I hope I'm doing that right. There's something suspicious there, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunken quite low enough already. Oh, fun. I object to calling the bellboy! Well, why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. Hmm. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? It's it. All right, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Fool. You fell right into my trap. I activate screw you card. <coughs> it's funny, right? Yes, I am, because he looks almost exactly like Kaiba. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Uh, yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. <laughs> Alright. It goes nothing. I'm the head bellboy at the fine Gatewater Hotel. Get it? In business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. Oh boy. And Bellboy ended up four generations. Okay. Not relevant. I believe I received a call after evening from our guest, Miss May. Okay. Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. How can you be so certain? I checked Miss May in personally, sir. Not only did I see her in her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw them, and I... <clears throat> The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. I saw some boobies. Yes, what then? She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at 9 o'clock on the dot. 9 o'clock on the dot, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. 9 p.m. on the time of the murder. I'm brought to her precisely at the requested time, of course. Precisely 9, then. 
precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir, 9 o'clock p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy, teehee, I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on the door at the crack of 9 o'clock, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. <sighs> oh boy, this is gonna be tough. Press. You are sure it was Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Uh, as in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Well, when I brought the room service, sir, uh, sh she, the guest, sir, favored me with, um, an embrasure, sir. Embrasure? Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Why would she have done that? I believe perhaps it was she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never, ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is that it? Tisk Tisk! Finally! You understand! This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie! Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. Can't let this happen, can I? Protest! What? Wait. Please wait. Yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question and that's all. Okay, this is really it is now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Hmm. Room service. Tell me again about her room service. Again, sir? At exactly 9, 9 p.m., I delivered room service to Miss May in room 303. The guests had requested iced coffee. $18 was the exact charge, as I recall. I see. $18? Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know, and we don't skimp on the ice, sir. What did he say? What did you say? Uh, oh, uh, rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? I object! That was objectionable! <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, didn't ask? Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... Mm. He asked me not to mention it if I was, wasn't specifically asked, sir. Ugh! You fool! I've done it. I've won. Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Uh... Then when you brought them room service, you didn't see that that man in the room. That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, 
we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In this new light, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? Simple. It was... The man Miss May was with. The man who checked in with Miss May. Ugh! Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone, yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder! My, what a convenient little setup, but it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Ugh! Upstart amateur. These accusations are... Ludicrous! Enough! I like Ludicrous. His music is good. <laughs> the court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes, gasp. Yes, your honor. Curse that Exodia. That is all for today. For the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Court is adjourned. Tap. Whew. Mmm. Did it. Messed you right! You were amazing in there! Really? I think I might be your newest fan! Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. Hehe. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too! Huh. That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips... It sent shivers up my spine! No comment. Hmm, if you say so. So what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I say. But I got a great lead in today's... Oh, but I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning charms won't work everywhere. She probably... She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Um... Oh, down to the detention center. Got it. Ha. Huh. Anyway. This case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm going to find more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis! Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you! Well, well, well. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part... That got left on the record. Cool. I don't know how much good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to get her free. Indeed. That is why we will con continue this next time. Ugh. And... Yeah, if you'd like to see it, please do click that little subscribe button. It would really do me a lot of good and make me so happy if you did. Especially liking and sharing it around. And, of course, if all goes well... To be continued. Savey, savey.
save. Yeah.